Okay, and now for our groom monkey, uh, we've got our, of course, our two five-inch rounds. This is a blush and a white, right about to a little over an inch. Blush to about three inches is normal. And then we've got a black 360 with about five inches uninflated on it. A mocha 350, uh, blown up about five or six inches uninflated on it, of course, for the head. We've got a white 360, uh, blown up about a little less than half, not even half, maybe a quarter of that, about 10, 12 inches. And we've got two black 260s, each with about five inches uninflated on them. And then two 160s, a mocha with about eight or 10 inches uninflated on it, and a black blown up a little less. We're not going to use all of either of these. We're going to set those aside. And of course, I'll start with the head. Since we've seen that a couple of times by now, I'm just going to kind of zip through part of that. And I'll catch you back up as soon as I get the head done. Okay, now we've got head all done and like our other ones because he's going to be in a full uh, costume or outfit or whatever we only need a neck so again we're going to make about one inch, one inch bubble on the back let the air out of it tie it off just like before and then we're going to set that aside and we're going to grab our white and our black 360 and we're going to start by tying the ends of those together that. Trim that up a little bit. And then we're going to make a pinch twist on our white 360. And then I'm going to take that pinch twist and divide it into two smaller bubbles, just like that. And then we're going to make a pinch twist on our black 360. And just leave it like that. That's going to be uh, the collar of his jacket, and that's the lapel of his shirt. And we're going to make two bubbles, about three and a half to four inches in each one, and twist them together at that point. And then we're going to take our black and make two larger pinch twists here. These will be his waist. First pinch twist. Second pinch twist. And then before we go any further, we're going to remove the white. We don't need it anymore. Take it off. And secure that in the finger. Tuck that up in the middle out of sight. And there's his upper body. Now we're going to make his legs and feet all out of the remainder of the black that we have. So we're going to make about a four or five inch bubble. Helps if you hang on to it. And we're going to make a pinch twist. Okay. We'll make a pair of those, two small pinch twists there, just like that. And we're going to make two fold twists or loop twists for his feet. They don't need to be too large. Unless you want them just to have really big feet. Those are about three fingers wide or so. And make one more. Same size. And if you get his feet, just like that. And then we're going to make one more leg. So we're going to take and make another bubble the same size as our other leg. And then twist that into two pinch twists that are his waist. And this excess we're going to pop off and remove. that loose in. So now we've got his body. This will be the white shirt. That's the back of a jacket and of course his pant legs and his shoes there on the bottom. He's naturally dressed all in black formal attire. We're not going to attach the head just yet because it's going to be easier if we attach that a little bit later after we get some of this other done. We're going to make his arms so we're going to get the two 
two sixties, black. And what we're going to do with those, we're going to start at the end and make two small pinch twists. And you're going to make, that's about the width of my hand, about a three inch bubble. And then a pinch twist. And then another bubble, about the same size or slightly longer than that one. And then another pinch twist. What you have there is one arm, elbow, cuff, and that's the shoulder. And now what we're going to do, we're going to bring our body over here. And we need a bubble that's going to go from about there, where his collar is, down into his waist. Measure that. We're not going to attach it to the collar just yet. And we're just going to twist this into the waist, around the secured in place, and then we're going to come back up with another bubble the same size as that one there, and twist back into that pinch twist that's your shoulder. So you've got one arm, and now all you need is a little small spacer bubble that's going to attach and pull this up to his collar. So you want to a really small bubble there, about a half inch or so, because you don't want to have a big gap of spreading out. You want it to hold it snug. Pull that up in and twist that around this collar a time or two to secure it. And you can see how that pulls it up nice and snug, so there's not a gap there between the shirt and his outer part of his body there. Now we're going to twist, pop the rest of this off. We don't need it. Sure that end up in there. And now we're going to repeat their process for his other arm. So again, you're going to start with your two little inch twists. Bubble for the forearm. Slightly longer bubble for the upper arm. And then the pinch twist for this shoulder. And then just like before, we need a bubble that's going to go from the collar to the waist. Like that. Twist that into his waist. Oops. Let's see if you hang on to it. Twist that into his waist. Just like that. And then another bubble, the same size. And that longer one. Twist it back into the shoulder. And then we're going to need our little spacer bubble. Got a half inch bubble there. And then bring that up and twist that into the collar as well, just like we did on the other arm. And then pop the excess off. Secure that in. Bring all that straight. Now his arms are kind of sticking out, but that's the advantage of having these double bubbles on the sides. Now you can take tuck his arms down in there a little bit. And so now he's posing a little bit better. Let's go ahead and detach his head. So he's starting to take shape there. Now we need to give him his hands. You could stop and leave just his collar, but we've got a rather black 160. And I'm gonna use that to give him a spiky little bow tie. So what I'm gonna do is just make a fold twist. So it's about, for me, that's about three fingers wide, about an inch, inch, and, inch and a half. Twist that together and then make a pinch twist right in the middle. And then another fold twist, the same size as the first one. And then we want a little small, tiny spacer bubble in the back. Not very big there. We're going to release the air out of the end and tie that off. And then we're going to take and just attach this right at the front here. And this collar. Wrap that around the time or two to secure it. Straighten that 
it up. And now he's got a nice little bow tie. We want him to look nice for his wedding there. And now we just need to make his hands. So we're going to take our Mocha 160. Start by twisting the nozzle into the cup on one of his arms. And you're going to make about an inch to an inch and a half level. Another bubble the same size. And he's going to be clasping his hands or bringing them together in front of him. So what you're going to do is instead of going back into that cup, you're going to attach it to his other arm to bring his arms together like that. Now what we're going to do is make his, the secondary fingers just like we've had on the other ones. We're going to make another bubble the same size and then come to the middle and you're going to cut that through and wrap it around a time or two to lock that in place so that'll hold on together. And then make another bubble the same size and then go back over to the other arm. So he's got his two hands together like that. And then for his thumbs, he's going to have slightly longer thumbs, but thumbs, but monkeys have longer thumbs, so it's okay. We're going to make a little small bubble coming up. A pinch twist. And the reason I do this way, that way I don't have to pop off, tie in, and add another piece to make the other thumb. And then a little small bubble there, there's one. And another small bubble, another pinch twist, and one more small bubble to twist back into the other arm to complete it. And then we're going to remove this excess, but what I want to do, and I didn't blow this up quite enough to do that initially, I didn't think about that, is I'm going to squeeze this air down to the end. Because our monkey has to have a tail. Tie that off. There we go. Let me hide this little end piece here. Put that in there. And give him a little tail. Like that. Of course, I guess if we left the tail off, it'd be more of a, an ape than a monkey, maybe a chimpanzee. But it's a monkey, so we need the tail. Put our tail back here. And we'll put it kind of sticks out to the side a little bit. And there is your groom monkey.